Hey, welcome back parents for our catchers. Um, I just want to try and do some more videos because this is something that we've always taken so much pride in, in, in developing our catchers. Um, I want to just so, show you just a little bit of short work drill that we can do with our catchers. Um, so for the sake of this right now, we got Nino here with us. If you're at home and you don't have baseballs, tennis balls, socks, you roll up the socks, put a piece of tape over them, little wiffle balls, whatever you got to throw at these guys, let's throw it at them and let's work on some receiving stuff. So this is the basic setup of this thing. We'll do this drill in two different sets. Primary setup where our guy might be down on a knee or in a regular setup with no one on base. And then we'll do some secondary stuff. So I'll take six or eight, depending on how I'm gonna do this drill. For me, I usually go this way with a kind of a shovel feed because it's quicker and I can challenge guys. But for a parent, you might be more comfortable just kind of starting here. So let's start in a straight position. As I feed the ball, parents, just like I teach, our infielders hold that ball on your third pad fingertips second pad third pad palm hold the ball four seam grip in that third pad and that's going to take some of the spin off and make it a little bit better early on if you want to challenge with the fingertips a little bit later and make it spin more you can't for right now let's get nino set up in a one knee primary position so he's going to work with that glove down and work coming up through the ball so i'm going to give him six balls something middle down in the zone i just want to see him present the ball Good. Start down, present the ball. Okay? Start down, present it. Don't try and manipulate it too much. Just catch and hold it and present it to the umpire. Here we go. Okay, so you can see, as I did in the last video, we spent some time here the last couple weeks sitting on the couch. We're back to work. Let's make sure we're all getting back to work at this thing. So let's go six more and we'll go in a secondary setup now, Nino. Okay, secondary, hop, good, that's a good secondary. Good, just catch and hold, present the pitch. Catch and hold, present the pitch. Great reps, good job, one more, present the pitch. So that secondary setup he was in was pretty clean. I'm proud of that secondary for him. Let's make sure we get reps receiving in it. The next kind of uh, piece that you can add to this is as we go back to a primary, let's go six more, but you'll see me change the flight of the ball now. So it'll be firm, and then I might mix in what we would consider a curveball or something off speed. So go ahead in a primary setup, Nino. Okay? And it's gonna be firm, catch and hold. And I might take and, and mix it up now with the flights of the ball. Depending on my surface, I may actually bounce the ball at him. All I'm working on is trying to keep him try and really get him to learn how to be comfortable being a little bit uncomfortable in circumstances but no matter how uncomfortable comfortable he is first rule present the pitch catch the baseball present the pitch so that's just a really basic receiving uh, progression that we can do without getting crazy and then we can go go ahead Nino step again so as a parent gets more comfortable we may go to a shovel feet now I'll be back a little bit more so Nino you move back for us right there and it'll just be a little bit quicker of a technique. And I might challenge him, instead of being in the middle of his body, I may challenge him to his right knee or his left. Okay, so we'll just go six of these. Catch and hold, present the pitch. Present it, get around your fingers there. Okay, so I wanna challenge these guys and I don't mind us making mistakes here. That to me is a great opportunity to learn what we gotta work at. And I want our players, especially, you know, even my own son here, I want him to feel not embarrassed to make a mistake, but I want him to feel and your guys to feel, hey, I made a mistake. I got to work harder. I'm mentally tough enough to accept the fact that I criticize my kid. I want him to be mentally tough enough to accept, okay, I'm being criticized. It doesn't mean he doesn't love me. It means I need to be better at this. So let's take another set and let's be better. Stay nice and low to it. Let's work and catch the baseball. Come on, lock in. Come on, lock in. So parents, I'm working out of this position, feeding him and trying to challenge him by moving balls, okay? 